Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 4. This time we have Android 15 based ROM for this device. We are trying out Android 11.1 for Redmi Note 4 and this one is actually an official version of Android ROM. But one thing which is really good about this ROM is that this ROM is working pretty well. It's just amazing that we are getting Android 15 on this old device. So as you know, this device released back in 2017 with Android 7. Now we are getting Android 15 just like Samsung's new flagship devices we are getting which will get seven major updates pretty similar to that that we are getting Android 15. By the way the variant I have here is actually 3GB 32GB variant and the experience I am getting here is pretty good. If you have a 4GB 64GB variant of this same device you might get better experience out of this ROM. So as you can see here Android 15 and Android version is 11.1. The security patch level is from January 5, 2025. So this is an latest build of C Android ROM for Redmi Note 4. So the UI is pretty much similar to all other Android 15 based ROM as you can see. And one thing which is really good about this ROM is that it's pretty smooth actually. As you can see here if I show you everything. So pretty smooth and everything is working perfectly fine. In terms of network and internet, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth working perfectly fine but Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi not working on this ROM. In terms of customization, we have Android setting here and you can customize tons of things from here. So you can change the clock position and whatever you like. There are tons of things and working perfectly fine, everything. Notification and style, so all these things are viable. And in terms of sound and vibration, working. I haven't faced any issue. So sound and vibration working. In the display setting, as you can see here, adaptive brightness is working, but I turned it off. Dark theme is survival. Night mode is survival. Color and contrast. Double tap to work and double tap to sleep. All those things. And high touch sensitivity also available. Torch setting is also available. So as you can see here, if I double tap on the status bar, turning off and double tap to turn it on. So double tap to work, double tap to sleep working perfectly fine. In terms of wallpaper and style, Yes, we are not getting any kind of fancy feature like AI wallpaper or anything like that. But most of the things are available. So as you can see here, there are a few wallpapers available. They looks good. In the more lock screen option, we do have few other things like dynamic clock. And we have ambient display option here. Obviously, this one is actually not full flash AOD here. Only you can see the notification a little bit. So that's it. That is also available. In terms of storage capacity, as you can see here, I did install few application, but still about 23 GB left. So almost 25 GB is a Bible after installing the ROM. Battery is doing pretty well. I haven't faced any kind of drain issue or anything like that. We do have charging control option. Enable charging control like you can automatically schedule, customize schedule and limit charging. All those things are Bible. And you can check battery information here. Although these are not really reliable, but they are there. So these things are there and the battery backup is pretty awesome. System setting. We don't really have much thing here. But in the gesture setting, we have quick open camera, one hand mode and few other things. But we don't really have any kind of full skin gesture support on this ROM. So that's all what we are getting there. And in the security and privacy option, both face and fingerprint unlock working perfectly fine. As you can see here, fingerprint unlock is pretty quick. And face unlock is a little bit slow outside, but works as you can see. So both of them work perfectly fine. And as an Android 15 based ROM, we do have private space. So if you use private space, that is available. And that's all what we are getting in the setting. Nothing much. And everything seems to be there. Can't really complain. And in terms of application, we don't really have a lot of them. As you can see here, there is a built-in camera application. The camera application is working perfectly fine. So we can take picture, no issue. And we can record video, 4K recording is working perfectly fine here. So as you can see here, 4K 30fps and if we record now, so as you can see, recording is going on 3 seconds, 4 seconds and we can close. And if we check the recording, gallery, so as you can see here, the recording, so as you can see, recording is going on 3 seconds, 4 seconds. So 4K recording you can do on this ROM, so that is available. Dolby Atmos is survival and in terms of calling yes you can record call as you can see here I did record call and I can play the call recording 
So call recording is also working. Unfortunately, Bo LTE and Bo FI is not available. And surprisingly, SafetyNet is also available on this ROM. So if I show you Google Play Protect certification setting and about, so as you can see here, device is certified. And you can use bank application here. I did try that actually. So I do have a bank application here, as you can see here. And if I open it, so as you can see here, we are not getting any kind of weird issue, like you cannot use type application or anything like that. So bank application you can use without any kind of issue on this ROM. And in terms of Google Photos unlimited storage, that is also available. Let me show you that. As you can see, unlimited. But unfortunately, there is no magic editor. So magic editor is not working. Let me show you that too. So as you can see here, there is no magic editor option. And in terms of WhatsApp, WhatsApp is also working perfectly fine, no issue with that. So this ROM is actually perfectly usable ROM. I haven't faced any major issue here. This is kind of surprising that Android 15 is running on this device, this old device with 3GB, 32GB RAM ROM. Overall, the performance is really, really good and you can daily drive this ROM without any kind of issue. Obviously, this device is not for gaming anymore, but you can still do gaming on this device if you are not serious about gaming. And the ROM is perfectly usable. And I will put the ROM link in the description below if anyone wants to try this ROM on their device. And for me, this is actually one of the best ROM you can get for your Redmi Note 4. There are a few issues here and there, and you might find few other bugs here and there, but Basically, the ROM is pretty much usable. Even the sidebar is also available, although it does not work that well. Like if I play something, as you can see here, it is not working. And if I open camera application, it's not working. So there are a few issues here and there, but the ROM is perfectly usable. You will not have any kind of issue using this ROM. So that's all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.